This is going to be a quick video on the drop down edge guide for industrial sewing machines. I purchased the cheapest one there was on the web, the famous website. And this is what it comes with. Obviously you get the drop down edge guide here. You get two screws to mount it to your machine. You get these two little Allen wrenches, an extra screw. This is the roller wheel edge guide, and this is just a straight edge guide. Uh, I didn't get this one with the first one of these I ordered, so that's kind of different or cool, whatever. But I just like this wheel. And you have to make sure that your casting has the, the holes drilled in it that are tapped on the back side where your hand lever is to lift your foot. Uh, they claim that you can drill these and tap them on your own. That's not something I want to do. I'm not really an expert at that. Um, the ones that six, the Adler 167 that I had, this casting either was a little bit narrower here or these taps were over further because what I found out after I bought this and tried to fit it on the machine before I painted it was that if I try, I, I'm not going to get both of these screws to go in because of the drop down adjustment here. But I also figured out that if I go, just do this one screw on this side and keep it right up against this casting, it holds it in a good position relative to the, to the front of the machine and it's plenty tight enough you uh, it takes a five millimeter to run these in that doesn't come with the little kit but you'll have to make sure you have a five millimeter allen wrench and I'm gonna attach this to the back of the machine with one screw here quickly and then jump around to the front and I'll show you how it works I've got it attached to the machine here just with the one provided screw and as you can see I, I moved it all the way over so I'm up against this edge and there's enough surface area here pressing against the back of the machine that this it, it's plenty tight it's not going to go anywhere it's on there snug i can shake the machine around uh, so i'm going to take you around front now here we are in front of the machine i've got the drop down edge guide attached to the back of the machine and it's plenty stable it's just a guide. It's not really going to be under any kind of pressure. It's got the roller foot on right here. And the reason they send you these little Allen wrenches is you can make adjustments. You probably will need to make adjustments. Um, with this wrench right here, you can loosen these two screws and adjust the length of this drop down arm here. So it is just in line with your uh, uh, plate here. I've adjusted this one and then you can loosen this screw and adjust the, the angle of this wheel. And when you get done adjusting that, you can get it so it just stops right at this plate. You can see, let me get my hand in the back. At this, it's right sitting right on top of the plate and there is a little bit of play in this. So yeah, it will just freely spin here. You can turn this little wheel to set it wherever you want it. Distance from your needle. And there's another little adjustment in the back here. Just loosen this up and you can adjust where the arm, the angle that the arm stops at when it comes down. If you need it a little higher or a little lower. There's a little spring back here that Holds it up out of the way. And yeah, it's a, it's a decent quality little piece of equipment for, for uh, $25. I think it's well worth it. If you've got the, the tapped holes in the back of your casting, I would definitely go ahead and buy one of these. I'm not selling them. I had it on one of my other machines, the same basic unit 
might have been I might have purchased it from a different seller but yeah I think they're well worth the uh, the 25 bucks so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like the video it helps out the channel appreciate it